So in this problem, we're told that Boyle's law states that when a sample of gas is compressed at a constant temperature, pressure P and volume V satisfy the equation PV equals C, where C is a constant. Suppose that at a certain instant, the volume is 800 centimeters cubed, the pressure is 200 kPa, the pressure is increasing at a rate of 400 kPa per minute. At what rate is the volume decreasing at this instant? So before we solve this problem, we should find out what they're asking us. So what they're asking us is, what is the rate of change in the volume at what rate is the volume decreasing at this instant? So basically what they're asking us is the change in volume uh, for time. So change in volume for change in time. So dvdt is what they're asking us for. But let's write down what they give us. So they give us that at a certain instant, the volume is 800 centimeters cubed. So we know that volume is equal to 800. And then they also tell us that the pressure is 200 kPa. So P is equal to 200. And then they also tell us that the pressure is increasing at a rate of 400 or 40 kPa per minute. So the rate of change of pressure, so dp dt, is changing at 40 kPa per minute. So now that we got all that laid out, we can solve. So they tell us that the formula is PV equals C. So PV is equal to C. So what we want to do first is well we got we're trying to find the rate of change of V. So if we differentiate with respect to time. That'll give us dv dt in our equation, and then we can solve. So let's differentiate this. So right here, we're differentiating p times v, and it's two um, variables times each other, so we got to use the product rule. So we do the derivative of p, dp, which is dp dt, times v, plus uh, the derivative of v, dv dt, we're differentiating with respect to t, times p. And that's going to equal to the derivative dc dt, but what you got to realize is that they tell us that c is a constant. So if we're differentiate a constant, it's going to be equal to zero. So this whole equation is just going to be equal to zero. And then we have all the numbers, and we can solve for dv dt. So let's just plug them in. So we know that dp dt is equal to 40 times v, and they tell us that v is 800 plus times 800 plus dv dt. That's what we don't know we're solving for times p, and p is 200. That's all equal to zero. So 40 times 800 is going to be 32,000 plus dv dt times 200. So what we can do is minus 32,000 and move it to the other side. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll get dv dt times 200 equal to minus 32,000. Oh, my bad. Let me rewrite that. 32,000. And then all we got to do is divide by 200. And then that'll give us dvdt on it by itself. So dvdt is going to equal minus 32,000 divided by 200, which is minus 160. And so this is the rate of change of uh, volume with respect to time. But what they're asking us is what is the rate at which it's decreasing. So rates don't have positive or negative. So it's just going to be 160. So 160 is going to be the answer to this. So 100 se 160 centimeters cubed per minute. 